Algebra 1, 6.3c, factoring trinomial squares. Okay, we finally got to this point. We know we have a trinomial square if it's the square of a binomial. We learned that in the last couple videos, didn't we? And to factor trinomial squares, we can use this template, this formula. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is going to equal the square of the binomial a plus b. Or... If there's a negative sign here, see, that one's positive, that one's negative. If we have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, then we're going to have the binomial a minus b squared, aren't we? We have to remember to factor out a common factor first if it's possible. And we have to remember the three conditions for a trinomial square. Two terms must be squares. The first and last terms are positive. And if we multiply the square root of the first and last terms, and double it, it's going to equal the middle term, okay? So, let's try doing this. Let's factor a trinomial square. And take a look at a squared plus 6a plus 9, and we can see there's no common factor between them. 6 factors out to a 2 and a 3, and 9 factors out to a, a 3 and a 3, but there's no 3 in this a squared, so there's no common factor. So, we just get going on the factoring then. And, remember, if there's a positive sign here for the middle term, then there's going to be a positive sign when we're done for our binomial square. Okay? So, a squared is a times a, right? And, we know from our rule that if we multiply the square root of the first and last terms, it's going to double, and then double it, it's going to equal the middle term. So we can do that in reverse, can't we? So if we multiply a times this 3, because 3 times 3 is the 9, if we multiply a times 3 and double it, it'll give us this middle term. So we know we've got to do an a times a 3 and double it. So that's going to be the middle term right there, see? That's going to give us an a plus 3 and an a plus 3. See? So our binomial square is a plus 3 squared. See? Let's try this again. Now there's going to be a minus sign for the middle term. So if, there's, if the middle term is negative, then that means for our binomial square, it's going to be negative. Okay? It's a rule to remember. If it's positive for the middle term, then that's going to be positive. If it's negative for the middle term, then that's going to be negative. Okay? All right. So is there a common factor? Well, that's a 2 and a 7. That's a 7 and a 7, but there's no 7 in here, so there's no common factor. We know a squared is a times a, and we're going to subtract the a times the 7 twice, aren't we? We multiply the a times the 7 and double it to get to this 14a, don't we? So we know that we've got an a minus 7 and an a minus 7. And we can write it as a minus 7 in parentheses with a little square on the outside, see? It's not that hard, really. If you, if you watched the last couple of videos, this will really make sense. If you're trying to jump in on this, then you might get lost. So there's going to be links in this video description to go back to those, okay? And remember to factor out any common factors first if it's possible. So we've got 27x squared plus 72xy plus 48y squared. And when we factor the 27, 2 can't go into it, but a 3 can. 3 times 9, right? Now, because this can't have a 2, and this can and this can because they're even, right? It's an odd number, so it can't have a 2 as a factor. Well, the 72 and the 48 can be factored by a 2, but the 27 can't. So we're going to use a 3 to factor out the 72 and the 48. Can't use a 2. This one can't use a 2, so we, got, we can't use it for these guys. So 72 divided by 3 is 24. So we know a 3 and a 24 would be factors for a 72. And because we're using 3, we're going to do 48 divided by 3, and that gets us a 16. So we know we can use 3 and 16 as the factor factors for the 48. And what's the greatest common factor between them? 3. So we're going to factor out the 3. So we've already got our numbers right here. See that? 
9, 24, and 16. So we've got 3 on the outside of the parentheses because it's factored out. And just remember, you ask yourself, what number can we factor out to make squares? And this is a square, and that's a square, isn't it? Because you want to make like a 9, a 16, a 25, you know, and so on. So now we've got 3 on the outside of the parentheses, and we've got 9x squared plus 24xy plus 16y squared. Okay? And the 3 has been factored out. Well, now we need to unsquare these, don't we? So that would be 3x times 3x to get us this 9x squared, wouldn't it be? And this would be 4y times 4y to get us this 16y squared. And to get us this 24xy, if we multiply a 3x by a 4y and double it, it'll give us that 24xy, won't it? So we need to break this into 2 times 3x and 4y. So now we've got our 3 on the outside of the parentheses, and it's multiplied to 3x plus 4y times 3x plus 4y, and we can write this as a binomial square, can't we, because they're identical? So we've got 3 on the outside of the parentheses, and then 3x plus y, and then the 2 on the outside of the parentheses there. See that? The exponent. You can do this. I believe in you. I think you can do this. If you're really confused, go back and watch my videos for modeling trinomial squares and recognizing trinomial squares, and there'll even be a link in there for the FOIL method. Our next video is going to be 6.4a, and we're going to be factoring x squared plus bx plus c. All right? Moving on. Next unit. I hope you're doing okay. I'll see you next video. Keep trying. Bye.